we're having a pleasant conversation here. No and I'm asking you some questions now. Right, so are you working in your official capacity? Yes. So could you please identify yourself? I so I know to. who I'm speaking to? Don't need to, boss. Well, then I have nothing to say to you, haven't I? Nice All right, you need to leave. This is not a government-funded place. Okay, well, at this point, they're trespassing you guys from the property. For what, too? Don't go on the property, because they, I mean, they run the main thing. If I find out that this, I'm going to look it up on Onyx right now, and I'm going to make some phone calls, and if I find out this is public property, I certainly am going back on the property. <laughs> How's it going guys? Watching the Watchman here, out with Amagansett Press, here in Sioux City, Iowa, at the Siouxland Community Health Center. Today, as usual, we're going to take a look around, take some video, and see if the folks here in Sioux City, Iowa, respect our First Amendment right to take video in public. This is a public health um, department, office, whatever you would call it. And uh, they are doing testing for the, uh, you know, disease that's going on. I don't want to say it on YouTube. Uh, it's kind of risky sometimes, but they have a uh, mobile testing thing set up over here. That's what that uh, trailer is. So, yeah, we'll see how it goes. And if I sound like I'm cold, it's because I am. It's uh, 45 degrees and sunny, kind of sunny. And uh, back in Colorado, that would be pretty warm, but, you know. 45 degrees isn't the same out in the Midwest area, whatever this is called. It's kind of cold. And if you guys weren't aware, uh, <clears throat> Sioux City is actually like right at the point where uh, Iowa, Nebraska, and South Dakota meet. It's kind of a weird little sliver that comes off of South Dakota into the surrounding states. chilly out today. Yeah, it is. <laughs> wow. It's been pretty crazy and sunny like this. Yeah, I saw, I saw 45 and sunny on the forecast. Figured it would be nice out, but I'm freezing. Language is that on the uh, door there? Which one? Oh, right there. I think that's uh, Vietnamese. Is it? That looks like it. Because of the li little question mark looking things. Yeah, on the bottom there too. Yeah, it does yeah, look yeah. Like Vietnamese. Like you say. Yeah. Sure. It is freezing. A little bit. I'm cold. <laughs> I'm an old man. I'm cold too. I got I got shorts on. Yeah, Watchman's wearing shorts. <laughs> 
biohazard. Biohazard, yeah. Might want to stay six feet away from that. It's crazy how much you could tell it's Iowa. <laughs> like Sioux, Sioux, uh, Sioux Falls didn't feel like that. No, it's totally different. I agree. Ah, oh, here we go. You're right. Hey, how we doing? How's it going? Good, good. Just checking on, uh, I had somebody here earlier today, but I didn't know about anyone else coming. Did you guys talk to anybody about filming or doing anything? No, I didn't even, I don't know about anybody else being here. Oh, okay. Can, what I, are you guys who, can I ask who I'm speaking to? How about we ask who you are? Well, I asked. And why are you filming on our property? I asked Do first. Do you have permission? I asked Did first. you get permission? Matter if you did ask first. So why are you? We're having a pleasant conversation here. No and I'm asking you some questions now. Right, so are you working in your official capacity? Yes. So could you please identify yourself? I so I know to. who I'm speaking to? No need to, boss. Well, then I have nothing to say to you. Have a nice All day. All right, you need to leave. No, that's okay. Why do I need to leave? Just because, because you're not allowed to film on the property. Where does it say that? Doesn't that have a, to. Is that this a is state private law? property. It's private this is property. Not, this is public property. No, it's, it's not. not. This sure is private is. property. How is it private? This is not a government-funded place. This is not a government-funded place. This is not a government-funded place this is not a government funded 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 place no you have a firearm on Siouxland Community Health Center you're very aggressive can I speak to you instead? Because I'd rather just have a pleasant well, conversation. Well, it was a simple question of who you, you can are. Stop I get, filming now. If I walked well, on you your can property, stop talking I, mean, to me. I understand that, but you guys just—I mean, that's like two-year-old baby. You guys just approached me, and I asked this gentleman who because he was. We and he said, "Oh, you tell me first. That's two-year-old." So, so no, you, uh, here, no, 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 no. here, I'll throw you a bone. Two-year-old. I'll throw you a bone. My name's Jason. All right. How are you? What is your now. name? My name is Brendan. Obviously, you can read that if you can read. I'm just having a conversation. You looked at it with six Brendan. to seven times. I actually did not look. Yes, you did. You guys are watch your eyes every time. You guys are a little aggressive, aren't well, you? Well, seems like no, Brendan here doesn't have anything to hide, but uh, security guy here. I just told you my name. Didn't but I? where are you from, and what are you doing? Oh well, that's a lot. Yes, now you're asking me a lot of things. You guys don't even want to identify. He doesn't want to identify himself. A man with a gun and a badge just walked well, up to me and refuses to identify himself. Before you could read his tag. That's that's against your policy. I can assure you of that. Yes, ma'am. When so you work here? Do I work here? So how would you know our policy? Could possibly sir? be. I might work for the state. I might work for the federal government. I might work for myself. They're you don't know who that. I am and what I'm doing. They're still in the program. But I think if you walk up and you ask somebody politely and you and start a nice conversation, now you got aggressive. Uh, well, because you simply asked who you. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go out to the sidewalk. And I'm going to wait for the police to show up. Okay, and I'll have the conversation with them because they'll be a little more respectful than the two of you. Well, are. you came here looking. And for then we'll us. be There's back. There's no doubt about that. I came here yes, looking for what? Problems because you wouldn't. If I walk on somebody's property, you guys are not worth talking to. Tell them I'll be waiting for them right on the sidewalk. Okay. Mm -hmm. And keep your six feet distance away from I'll me. Don't do anything, buddy. Oh, you're here. You guys came looking for problems today, didn't you? You're a tough guy. Today. Every day. Wow. I guess uh, you got to make up for that stature somehow, huh? Yep. Yeah. Well, I'll tell the police when you're right on the sidewalk, and if you don't keep six feet away from me, I'm going to move you away from me. Are you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, Definitely. If you, if you get in my personal space, I'm going to remove you from it. That's an absolute fact. Whatever your name is, no name. And never your parents that taught you how to threaten people constantly. Listen, everything that just transpired here is on video. You guys are the aggressive ones. No. Okay? It's on video. You're so. absolutely correct. Good for you. You need to identify yourself when you're working right in your up. official capacity, no, sir. Not. Yes, you do. I'm private security. I don't have to do it. Yeah, what's your, guard, what's your guard number? Do you know. know the law? Yeah. Yeah, you have to provide your guard number and your identification, sir. You have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah, I do. Okay, so we'll be filing a very serious complaint against That's you. That's great. Yeah, it is great. Big difference between contract security and private security. It's a big difference between being an asshole and being a normal person. And you obviously you guys don't understand looking for that. trouble. No, you nobody got came it. in. Was I you looking know. for trouble? Yeah, I, came I was out. trying to have a respectable conversation yep. with you, and you're just being a jerk. Yep. Yeah. We have property. I'm walking off the property. Go ahead. Of my own accord, at my own Go pace. Ahead. I don't Keep do going. what you tell me to do. Go. I'm going. See ya. See, look, I'm backing up right now. All right. See. Let's you know, all I know going. is we came up and just asked the question of 
No, you didn't. Because I said, no. yes, I did, or no. I did too. No, you and didn't. I'm the one talking now, not you. Yeah. So, um, I, we what, do you, what do you think? I have to listen to a word out of your mouth? No, but I'm I saying, can't hear anything I sat, you're saying with the diaper on your three face anyway, so don't worry about it. I last sat and listened to you for the last three minutes. So no, just, you don't have to listen to anything. Go back to work. No. I'm going to have a conversation with people that respect the law instead of the two of you. Jackass security over here with his two guns. One's not enough. You should stick no. to the little one, dude. It's more your size. There you go. Am I off your property enough for you? No, actually, yep. that's not a second gun. Anybody would know that one. I'm not anybody. Hey, Jeff. 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 Hey, J
Okay, well at this point, they're trespassing you guys from the property. For what reason? They they have the ability to tell you who they want. In is this private property. property or is this public property? They're banning you from the property. No, but so, I'm asking a question. Is this public property or private property? Private. It's private property. It's private property. So. Sioux Land Community Health is not does not receive it, public it, funding. It's not owned by the government. No, I didn't say owned by the government. Well, the people who own it can say who run the facility and maintain it and say who they want on the property. So. Not if it's publicly funded, they cannot. That's not the way it works, sir. And I'm not trying to give you a hard time. I'm just having the conversation. Yeah, do, you your, with you. do you have your identification on you? Yeah. Well, let's step over here because we got people trying to come in. I'm off the driveway. I don't know. You're the only one standing in the driveway there. Um, do I have identification on me? Of course I do. Okay. Well, I'd like to see that because you're being trespassed, so I need your information. You don't need my information. Yes, I do. You can just. We got called here, so I. That's fine. Do you, do, you, do, you, do you see me breaking any laws? You're currently being trespassed from here. You didn't leave. I believe I'm being unlawfully like... trespassed, and if you want to trespass me, go ahead and trespass me. Okay, but I, so I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm then. not surrendering my information. You're not getting my identification from me. I value my Fourth Amendment rights, and I'm. I'm I will not surrender or give up any of my rights. Hey, as long as you guys stay on the sidewalk, they're cool. As long as I stay on the sidewalk, yeah, they're cool. Yeah, they're cool. Yeah. I don't need him to think I'm cool to stand on the sidewalk. That's none of his business. No, what we're, we're going to leave. That's not fine. But we're you, saying, you can do whatever you want to. Don't go on the property because they, I mean, they maintain. If I find out that this, I'm going to look it up on Onyx right now, and I'm going to make some phone calls. And if I find out this is public property, I certainly am going back on the property. And then you guys can come back out here and do whatever you think you want to do. That's up to you. Okay. But I'm not going to be trespassed off of public property without breaking a law. That's right. not the way it works. Okay. So we understand the situation, right? They don't want you on their property. You understand they, what they, I just they, said, right? As long as you still on the sidewalk, everything is cool, right? Well, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand here and I'm going to videotape every single vehicle that goes in and out of this property. That, I'm going to get license right. plate numbers from every vehicle that goes in and out of this property and video everything I possibly can. And we're going to get some more people down here, like I told you I would. Okay, Thank sounds you. good. Okay, have you good gentlemen have a good day. But I'm, I'm telling you right now, if you get another phone call from these people that I'm back on the property, you know why. As soon as I find out this is publicly funded, public property. I didn't even get his info. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. All right. I'll That's what happens okay. when you have no lawful right to ask for anybody's info. Have a good day, sir. Turn a lesson today, Officer Gill. Well, hey, don't block the driveway there, sir. I'll do whatever I want. You just have a nice day and take off. That looks like his car is the only thing blocking the driveway. Your 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 vehicle is the only thing blocking the driveway there, Hotshot. Why don't you turn your lights on? Only person blocking the driveway is this car. Car 148. Alright, so. Now we're gonna find out if this is public property or not. You think they were bluffing? Why? Because why would they just drop it like that? Because the guy told them they didn't want to do anything or something. I don't know. Yeah, I'm saying, why would the, these health department people just drop it like that if they knew they were right? All of a sudden, out of nowhere. Oh no, no, we don't want to. We, we don't want to do anything. Just uh, well, you know, as long as they stay on the sidewalk. So what are you saying? Go back on the property? I don't know. I'm just uh. Because those cops will come back and arrest us. There's no question about it. Well, we haven't actually been trespassed, so. That's true, we haven't been trespassed. Yeah. I just called the police department asking if I've been trespassed off the property or not. Yeah, yeah, you could. Officer Gill was just here, he told me I was trespassed and then left without saying anything else to me. So, I don't know if I am or not. Yes, hi, I'm hoping to speak with a uh, sergeant or a lieutenant or somebody um, in a higher up position, please. Regarding? Uh, regarding an incident that just happened here in uh, Sioux City. Okay, can, can, you, can you just give me a little bit of information? Because that depends on who I transfer you to. Oh, okay, sure. Yeah, I'm at the Siouxland Community Health Center. 
And I just had a security guard here attempt to trespass me from the property. Uh, three of your officers responded and um, as far as I'm concerned did not trespass me from the property. Um, but the security guards claiming they did, so I'm just trying to figure out whether or not I was trespassed. I don't believe I was, I'm just trying to find out what the actual situation is. Okay, hold on just a sec. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, hey, good morning, Sarge. Good afternoon. How are you? Good, how are you? Okay, good morning. Oh, good. Uh, so the reason I'm calling you is, is I'm at the Siouxland Community Health Center. Um, and I had security. Um, we're outside the building. I never went inside. And security called uh, your department had some of your officers come out. I believe it was Officer Gill that I dealt with. Um, and the uh, security guards here are saying that I have been trespassed from the property. I was not trespassed by your officers. So I just want to clear that up and find out if whether or not I've actually, in fact, been trespassed from the property or if I have not. Uh, you want me to go talk to you? If you'd like to, sure, that'd be great. I'm right on the corner of 11th Street. Okay, perfect, thank you. Yep. yep. All right, good. What did he say, 20 seconds? Yeah, 20, <laughs> he's probably looking at he's us. Probably right there. Yeah, he's probably scoping us out with binoculars. All right, dude. so, uh, police sergeant. So, uh, the sergeant's on the way so here, and we're gonna seconds, so have a discussion about it. Right. Said he was here, said he was gonna be I here in 20 seconds. Right <laughs> um, and we're gonna find out. So we're going to find out whether or not we were actually legally trespassed or not. This is probably him over here. Yeah, here he is. That was quick. Yeah, right. It is. In uh, Sioux from? City. Where are you from? Colorado. Colorado? Yeah. Well, well, when it's 50 degrees and sunny in Colorado, you wear a t-shirt. Yeah, that's strange. Well, you still wear a t-shirt here. It's cold. You go out of Florida, you get 50 degrees there in winter coats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not knowing what to do. Can I, what is it, uh, Moritz? Moritz, yes. Is that how you say? Yep. Okay. Um, so the reason I called you is, is we're here, I'm working on a story. Okay. Okay. Not engaging with anybody, didn't speak to anybody, not causing any disturbance, minding our own business. Okay. Uh, two security guards came out, started speaking. Where, where to were we us, at? Right up against the building there. Okay. On the sidewalk. Okay. Um, and the security guards came out, started asking us questions. And I very cordially, it's all recorded, said to them, before we start the conversation, can you just identify yourself? Can I know who I'm speaking with? Okay. Security guards said, absolutely not. No, no reason I have to identify myself. So I said, well, if you're not willing to, you're operating in your official capacity. If you're not willing to identify yourself, which I believe is a requirement of a security guard in this state, mm, when they're acting in their official capacity, okay. um, I could be wrong about that, but I believe that's the case. Um, so I said, if you're not willing to identify yourself, I have no idea who I'm speaking to. You could be just some guy with a gun and a badge. I have no idea who you are, so I'm not going to listen to a word you have to say. So he called the police department. I said, I'll walk out to the sidewalk, wait for the officers to get here, which we did. The officers okay. got here. We spoke to them. Uh, they said, as long as you guys stay on the sidewalk, you're fine and left. But okay. the security guard is claiming that we've been trespassed. Okay. So I was not trespassed, and if you can either clarify, can, or can clarify that okay. for me, that would be great. Uh, here's here's how we state laws. Right? Okay. Okay. What you have is uh, buildings that are open to the public. Right. Right. So they're open for to the public. Okay. They have they have uh, policies, and from what I understand, one of their policies is there's no video taping. Inside in the, the in building. This, in this particular building. Yeah. In the building, not outside the parking lot. Correct, I would guess. Right. Yeah. There's, yeah, there's, we didn't there go is the no building. curtilage on the on the actual That's building itself. My opinion as well. It's right. a uh, it's a uh, 
business, basically. The only places that have curtilage are your uh, houses. So right. your house, your home is protected that right. way. Um, as far as the trespass goes, if you're there for a purpose, which, and, which is to seek medical help, because this is what this place is well, about. Well, no, legitimate purpose is legitimate. a legitimate purpose. It doesn't just have to be seeking medical help. I mean, people come here to make deliveries. People come here to, to, agree with that. to clean the parking lot. People legitimate come here purpose, to look for right? lost items. As long as I'm here with a, any legitimate purpose. And, and I do have a very legitimate purpose. And what is your legitimate purpose? I am working on a story. Okay. And what's the story for? And as far as I'm concerned, I'm operating under the protection of the press. So that would afford me many rights. Okay. That these guys might not be aware of, and you probably are. So that's why I wanted okay. to speak to somebody from your department. Um, but they do receive federal funding. This is a publicly funded facility. Okay. It is a facility which is open to the public. This parking lot is open to the public from the street. That's correct. So as far as me being in the parking lot taking video, they don't have a leg to stand on. Okay. As far as the law is concerned. So if you can confirm for me that I was not trespassed, I'd like to just continue what I'm doing. Like I said, I have no intention of going inside the building. I have no intention of speaking to anyone, causing any disturbance. I'm not looking to uh, harass anybody. Harass when they come anybody. Out. You're no, not I'm interview just anybody. You're standing not gonna... up. No, I'm not looking to interview anybody. So all you're looking to do is sit up there, observe, and hold the camera. Observe. That's it. That's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Well, I will tell you that. As far as outside the building, it is open to the public. Okay. Um, if it becomes an issue where they come outside and they're requesting us to do something, we'll throw it up to our attorneys that we have and see what, what they would advise us to do. At that okay. Point. And then at that point, if your attorneys determine that there is a valid trespassing situation here, mm -hmm. then I would be asked to leave. Correct. Right. That's that's my understanding of the law. I just I think. What happened was between me and you, and it's all on video. I'm not making anything up. No, you're on video too, so yeah. No, no, no. I don't mean with you. You've been oh, okay. very cordial and professional, and I thank you for that. And I think you're doing the law enforcement across the country a service, behaving the way you are. Okay. Appreciate um, and that. And we need more guys like you out there, and we love to show that as well. Um, but the security guard came out very hot, refused to identify himself, very aggravated, being very disrespectful. And, and what did he say when he came out? He just walked, at first he walked up for the first 10 seconds, he was fine. He walked up and said, hey, can I ask what you guys doing? Were you here with the group that was here earlier today? Which I was not, I have no idea what he was okay. talking about. Um, so I said to him, before we start the conversation, can I just know who I'm speaking to? And he said, no. I said, well, don't you as a security guard have an obligation to identify yourself and work in your official capacity? He said, no, I don't. Okay. So once somebody does that to me, like if you did that to me, I wouldn't speak to you either. You know, if somebody, if somebody's, like I said, I'm repeating the same thing, but if somebody's operating under the color of law in an official capacity, you have to identify yourself to somebody. When you walk up to me, you have to identify yourself. If you're employed by the state or the city. Yeah. Or if you're a private guard. Private, private I'm not. I'm not oh, yeah, he's, he's got a guard number, and if somebody asks for his guard number, he's obligated to give that out. He can't, because otherwise, if that wasn't the case, I could just go tell anybody I'm a security guard. I could, I could open carry, say I'm a security guard, and tell people what to do, and they'd have to listen to me. That's not the way the law works. You know? But and the I ramifications for that would come later on. When, right, when right, right. Well, ramifications for him are going to come later on when I file my complaints with his uh, security company, but that'll okay. be a whole other issue. Depending I'm going to run in there. I'm going to talk to them real quick. I'll try to smooth things over for you. Okay. And, and in the meanwhile, I'll just go back to them. where I was standing and behave myself. Um, and, and as long as you're not badgering, as long as customers come outside and they're saying, hey, this guy's out here, he's badgering I'll me tell you what, I'll even go as far as if somebody starts to talk to me, I'm just going to ignore him and stay silent. I'm not even going to engage anybody. Fair enough. All right. Well, 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 I th and you're also doing him a favor because yeah. he's going to be, you know, that's also a very sketchy thing for him to do because I'm a nice guy. He might do that to somebody that's not a nice guy one sure. day and put himself in a bad situation where he's going to be calling you for help instead of to have somebody trespass. So it would just behoove him to act in a more professional manner. When you walk, you know, I think when you're a citizen, open carrying or concealed carrying, you have a very large responsibility to act a certain way. I agree with you. And you have to be very decent about your, your behavior. When you're wearing a gun and a badge, even more so, right? I agree with you. So, and I think you've, and I'm not trying to blow any sunshine up your skirt here, but I think you've been exemplary in your behavior. I think you're legitimately upholding the law and trying to do your job in a positive way. And I sincerely hope that that trickles down through your charges and your behavior of your your officers follows that lead because I think that's, uh, like I said, I have a very firm belief in this country, especially right now, bad officers are getting good officers hurt for no reason. 
and it's not a good idea. And I think security guards are even worse at that because when you're a security guard, right, his written into his code of, of behavior, written into his policy, his job is to observe and report. He's not supposed to be engaging anybody. He's not supposed to be getting into arguments with people. He's supposed to observe something he doesn't agree with and call you. Okay. And that's all he's supposed to do. So I appreciate Fair you. I will go. I will go inside to see if I can uh, make contact with him. We'll, we'll talk. Okay, and I'll be standing right over there in between those uh, handicap signs. We'll, we'll go Minding my business. All right. All right. Thank Sounds you. Sounds good. I appreciate you. Like we said, we're gonna go uh, stand by the signs over here and uh, see how it goes. And it seems that, uh, to some extent at least, the uh, sergeant agrees with us. So, all right, guys, well, you heard the sergeant's gonna go inside and have a conversation with these folks, and uh, we'll see how that goes when he comes back out. Oh, here he comes. Have a good one. All right, thank you. Have a good day. Oh, there you go, guys. Cool. Uh, actually, I'm going to just stay here for a minute. My battery's about to go out. Can you step on that? Yeah. Seems like uh, success here at the Siouxland Community Health Center. But, uh, perfect timing. And uh, everything worked out. The sergeant went inside and had a conversation with those people in there. And uh, in the end, obviously, he left. And uh, no issues taking video out here. So that's the, uh, that's the point of this. That's what we like to see. And uh, we were not trespassed, even though they uh, tried pretty hard to trespass us, but we were correct, and uh, nothing they can do about it. And uh, I'm sure it's possible that even if, if we wanted to push it further, we could have gone inside at some point, but um, this, is, uh, this is what we were looking for, and uh, good enough for today. It's freezing out here. And, and we're glad that uh, we've got a sergeant here who respects the Constitution and the law and uh, didn't infringe on our right. Uh, went in there and got everything set straight. So, like AP was just saying, I'm having a hard time putting a sentence together because I'm freezing. But uh, it's what we like to see. And uh, if it's what you guys like to see, uh, make sure you check out my other social medias and subscribe to my channel and AP's channel here on YouTube and uh, we're gonna hop inside the Jeep get down the road and warm up and uh, continue our travels around the country defending the Constitution so see you on the next one guys yeah.